Thank you so much, Chris. Something is building here in Brooklyn. The team is following the lead of the head coach, Jock Vaughn, and you can feel it in the way that we've seen the effort and the execution and the attention to detail, and it's now showing up on the scoreboard. That's five straight wins here at Barclays Center. And anytime there's a bit of a slippage, we see a timeout. Yes. Jacques Vaughn having a great feel of how to get everyone back together, and so much of what this has been is a product of defensive stops, allowing to get some runouts, ball sharing, the amount of assists. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving put up the big numbers in terms of points, but we saw some very, very impactful plays in fact, impactful buckets from everyone collectively. And I think you, you feel that energy and the understanding that everyone needs to play a part, play a role, and there's been a better understanding of staying ready, regardless of what it looks like, what the team looks like, just some smart moves, too, in terms of matchups, going big, going small. You like how Jack Vaughn pushed the buttons, especially down the stretch, and the team responded. And limiting the turnovers, another huge key for Brooklyn. Obviously, every head coach is looking for that, trying to cut down on the mistakes but in particular tonight. The Nets were very careful with the basketball and there was a cohesiveness. And the other part of the equation too for Brooklyn right now, you don't know who's gonna play and that means everybody's gotta be ready. And we've seen that. Cam Thomas in the second half, he did not log a minute in the first half, comes in and carries out a role that Chuck Vaughn was looking for. And I think it's just knowing that that opportunity may come at different points throughout the course of the game, may come at different points throughout the course of the season. But now I think they're starting to understand top to bottom of systematically how this group wants to yeah. play, what's expected in terms of roles, the switching nature of the defense, communication, where to be moving on a string, and also off offensively, uh, the sets, the play calling, the nuances of the actions that are taking place, the chemistry continues to build, and that's a part of it, especially with changing lineups, new group, players being in and out, and I think the more that that continuity builds, it, it's an opportunity for Brooklyn, quite frankly, to being here at home during this stretch of time. And I think you just nailed it. Toronto's coming up on Friday night. When you looked at the schedule before this season started, we knew this would be a very important stretch. Got to take care of business on your home floor. The Nets didn't do that last year, and that became an issue come playoff time where they needed to summon something against Boston. They just couldn't do it. That's important to establish it. Nets are starting to do that now. And, and the uptick continues. It's Toronto. It's Boston coming out on Sunday. The team is probably playing the best in the yeah. NBA right now. And, and when it comes to Toronto, they got some healthy bodies back that to, that uh, Brooklyn did not see when they were up in Canada just the other week. But regardless of who's on the floor, again, it comes back to the understanding of how this group wants to play. And when you have one of the best basketball players on the planet and Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving to go along with it, the rest of the crew, you've got to understand understand that regardless of opponent they're going to come and bring your best and I think the Nets are starting to realize that and starting to come with the requisite level of energy and attention to detail. Some magical moments from Durant and Irving but great team victory here for Brooklyn. We send it back to you Chris.